So I want the skull to stay a natural color, so I'm gonna put Super Sheen on it now because I'm gonna airbrush the rest of this. I did like some black over the large background areas, but like all the little details I'm not too worried about because the highlighter antiquing gel that I use is gonna cover all that up. So it'll all blend together. So I'm just gonna use a brush to put the Super Sheen on it. Cause I want that to stay. Oop, that's not super sheen. That would have been bad. That's what I was looking for. I'm just gonna do one light coat of this. And then I'm also gonna mask it off with frisket paper before I airbrush it. So that way no airbrushing dye gets on the skull. And then one coat will be enough too because some of it's going to come off like you said when you put the finish on how it kind of rubbed away some of the stuff the antiquing gel is going to rub away some of this too so you could be pretty liberal with the amount that you put on it If you don't know what I was talking about with frisket paper. That's, it's basically just a clear film that you could see through it and it's sticky on one side. So I'll just set it over top of there and then use an X-Acto knife and cut out what I don't want. And I'm not going to videotape that, but you'll get the idea. And I had the skull masked off with the frisket paper. So I'm going to airbrush this. Um, I'm put my respirator on and just go for it. I got a couple other things that I need to airbrush the same color. So I'll videotape it all and then just edit it later on, I guess. Alright, so I got the frisket paper off, so you can see. And now I'm going to apply all the highlight. So if you look closely, you can see like a lot of the details. You know, I got overspray on here. No big deal because the highlight is going to mask all that. So, 
and I use highlight or the antique gel. They're pretty much the same to me. I kind of like the highlight just a little bit better because I feel it sticks better, but I don't know if what the difference is. But first thing I do is use Super Sheen as the resist. So I already have a coat of Super Sheen on the skull, but I'm just gonna go for two coats over everything. These other pieces are for holsters that are getting, I'm just gonna do them all at the same time, just getting the same thing. So just a light coat. Try not to get too deep in there. It's all right if it does though, if it, if it like pulls up like that, not a big deal. Just a light coat. Set that aside. Do these holster pieces real quick. And this part's flat. I'm gonna get the whole thing. Because I don't want the flat part to change colors when I put the highlight on. So you can see it's pulling some dye up. Not a big deal. I literally just got done spraying it. So I'm gonna let that dry and then come back, put another coat on. I'm not gonna videotape it, but super important to let this fully dry. If you do it too soon before it dries, then the black's gonna get on everything and it defeats the entire purpose. You might as well have just made a black wallet at that point. So I'll turn back on the camera when I'm ready to do the highlight. Okay, it's dry. So I got my black highlight. toothbrush and this is a sponge that I use specifically for this so just want to make sure you're getting in it every little crack also like the toothbrush kind of scratches the the super sheen or whatever resist you have on there that'll let some some black get through and I'll give it a more like natural look doing like these basket weaves that have a lot of texture to them is kind of difficult to get in. make sure you get it in every single one flat sponge. I'm not pressing because I just want to wipe off the surface. So I'm just trying to get it to move in one direction. Get the bulk of it off with the sponge. texture in the skull starting to stand out. Then oh, let's go that. Just kind of wrap a sponge in a paper towel like that. And then do like little circular motions. See how the start you can Start to see all the texture stands out. You see how the black's all fitting together. Where I'm gonna leave it. So you gotta remember too, it looks really shiny right now. Once it dries, it won't be shiny. And then also, some of this will still come off. You buff it with a clean rag, and some of it will come off. So 
I don't want to wipe too much out of like what's in the shady, maybe a little bit more. I'm not pressing hard, I'm just skimming the top. 